What's the crack, lads? I'm Paul Harry Manyface, and welcome back to another episode of Free Games with Paul. So, I'm playing a little game called The Wild Day, and it's at the moment it's free because it's a demo on, or it's an alpha on um, Game Jolt. So, it's free to play at the moment, and it's kind of like a little survival game. And uh, as every survival game, we run around to do things. But the thing is, this is going to be um, like a co op type of thing, and it's. It's a fairly big map and everything from what I've seen, like, when we actually scroll out, like, you can actually walk off to the edge of the map and it discovers more things for you, but we'll just, we'll wander around and we'll do what we're supposed to be doing. Build a shelter, okay. I'm punching a rock first, hang on. Um, how many fucking rocks can I get? That's four, 50 rocks. This rock just lasts forever. Okay, I'm just going to stop punching that rock now. Um, build shelter. Awesome. And you can turn it. Nice. Build. Okay. Gather wood and stones. Um, oh, I just walk up to a tree. Nice. Fucking numb. Give me that wood. Give me the good wood. They're, enter the shelter and they're on campfire. Okay. Shelter. Campfire. Oh, nice. Now I need 20 wood and 5 stone to build that thingy, my Bobby. Yeah, that's 20 wood. Oh, cool. That's my duty, oh. Um, it's a workshop. There's the campfire. Uh, let's build it that way. There we go. It's night time. Uh oh. Uh, need more wood. Seems to only be getting to evening time up here at 10 p.m. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's 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 later than that. Okay. Nice. What do I need? I've got oh the temperature bars and everything are over by my camera. Just let me move you. There we go. Cold hunger hunger. How do I? Ah, I see. Nice. I just need to build. Um, I can build a workshop. Can I actually build that yet? Where I can't can't build it really anywhere. There's enough space. Oh, there is enough space. There we go. Um, upgrade shelter to level two to gain recipes. Shelter. Upgrade. What do we need to upgrade you? 30. What the fuck? What was that? Check the smoke to the east of the crash site. User map. So I have to go over there. Okay. I'll do that in the morning. When it's not fucking night time and I'm gonna freeze to death. Just let me leg it out quickly for one second. Just grab some wood. I think I need like 50 wood to grab or to level up my um thingamajig. It's a really like I really love these like aesthetic type there are the aesthetics of these type of games. Like this um don't know what you call it. Like polygon I guess. You can see like all the polygons and shit. But it is really cool looking. Yay upgraded. Terrain orientation. Increases sight range and movement speed of a character. Aha and stamina. I need wood and rocks. Oh, might want to just... Come on! Ah, oh, finally. Okay. Just grab some more wood and rocks and get my strength up. Okay. Nice! It's a really cool looking game though. And I, I'm looking forward to when the actual full thing comes out and it's fully fledged. I'm sure it's only a small little area of the map that's actually going to be in, in it and everything at the moment. Um, come back here. Learn strength. Nice. And what's that? Bone extraction. 25 wood and 35. Jesus. Give me all these rocks. It seems a bit jerky while I'm attacking some, for some reason. Which is odd. Quite odd. Um, 
Okay, let's just attack this. Attack the Zatra. Dun, dun. Okay. Come down here. Should be able to do this. Agility, I think I'd prefer the agility actually. And get that bone extraction. 25 wood. And 35, that's actually not too bad. It's only like two hits of that and a small bit of wood. Won't last long while food. Oh yeah. Feed myself. Yeah, I might need to be able to get some food soon because I seem to be run out. Oh, is that more canned food? Okay, I'll go up. Oh no, there's more canned food anyways. Give me that. And bone extraction. Done! Okay, now I have to head off to the east. Why did I... Oh, tab works. That's fine. Oh, God. Don't fall! Oh. Oh, hello. Okay, I might need to set up camp for night. Quick. How do I build campfire, campfire, campfire? Okay. Cool. Okay, good. Temperature's back up. Keep the fire going for the night. Hey, come back. I want to kill you. Come back. Okay, never mind. Okay. Well, it said to go and check some stuff over here. So... I shall have to do that now in a second, when this stuff comes out. Oh, stick. Clothes, traps, specials. Okay, let's make this stick. Awesome. We have our stick now. Okay, oh, there we go. Equipped. Die. Okay, we might want to stock up the fire. There we go. Oh, what was that? Wood. Why did it drop like that? That's odd. Die. God damn it. Shadows are nice. Um, shadows. Oh, there's some mushrooms. Mushroom. I see such a large. No mushrooms. Edible in critical cases only. There's a high risk to be poisoned. Can be cooked on fire. Now, what about it? Fried mushroom. Juicy. Toothsome de delicacy. Is that fine now? Oh, I need. Can I. Oh. I need more food, though. I need a lot more food. God damn it. Um, is it almost daytime? Check the smoke to the east of the crash site. Okay, and I'm, I'm heading east, kind of. I went across that crevasse. Jesus, if the whole map is what you can still you can walk around in this, then it's still a lot. Um, okay, what time is it? Seven a.m. A couple more. We'll do it for the night. 8 a.m. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Do, do, doodle, doodle, do, do. Okay, here we go. Off we go. Okay, I have to walk down here somehow. What is down here? Okay, that's the warthog. Oh, what's that? Mushroom. Is that berry? Berries. Berries? Berries! Oh, more berries. Okay. And can I fight you? Will you fight back? Will I kill you before you kill me? I think so. Come back. Don't run away from me. Come on. Yay. Two meats. 
Okay. Nice. That means I can heat them up. Out of... Okay, let's get back up. And let's go. We have to go over east. So, apparently there's stuff over here. Oh, there's another one. Oh, God. Generator. Oh. Okay. That's handy. I got a generator. Do I just go back to my one now? Okay. Go back to my crash plane. So, obviously, there's kind of like... There's going to be multiplayer in this. And I'm assuming that when the multiplayer comes in, you're going to each start at a plane, probably. And meet up. It says there's a mysterious story of some sort to it, though. Which will be interesting to find out what it is. Why there is crash planes everywhere. Do, do, doodle, doodle, do, do. Okay. Where the fuck is my stick to get back across? Oh, God. It's a steep hill. Okay. There we go. No. Need to warm up quickly. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run! Don't fall off! Oh, I fell! Oh! Oh, you actually have to full on restart. Aww. Oh, that's kinda shitty. God damn it. It kinda makes sense though. It, it, that's what every survival game is. You die and that's your problem. Oh, I have to do everything again. Ah. Uh, uh no. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that all again. Not right now. But it, it, it's a really cool game, but from what I've seen so far. Like the survival aspects of it, and I really love the aesthetics and the top down type of view. And like you walk around with WASD and you aim around your mouse then and click on what you have to click on. So it's a really cool little game, which is fairly awesome. But this has been free games of Paul, so you can go and download it. Just it's called The Wild Date, so just type it into Google and uh, it'll come up the website for it. And you can click on download demo, which will bring you to their game jolt page, or it'll just bring up the game jolt page itself. And that's where you can download this from. But it is a really cool little game and a cool demo. I can't wait to see what actually becomes of it when it comes out as a full fledged game. But thank you all for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.